Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to your english literature class how are you all i hope you all are fine and you are studying properly at home and i think i hope you are ready with your english literature book copy and pencil so today can you remember the name of our topic the name is the little plant right so today we are uh, doing our lecture 2 that means second class on this topic the little plant right can you remember that how a plant comes from a seed i drew a picture and I explained it can you remember when a seed gets water and sunlight properly slowly a plant comes out from the seed right grows in the seed and then it comes above the soil this soil right just only when it gets water and sunlight properly right and can you remember what did we learn in lecture one yes we learned that a seed needs water and sunlight to grow as a plant a little plant lives in the middle of a buried seed. This seed is buried, right? Buried seed. Sunlight calls the little plant to come from the ground or soil. I hope it's clear to you. Now let's start the poem today from the next part. Okay? Okay. So here is the poem. Here is the first six lines what we learned in lecture one. But today we will read the last six lines. Before we read or uh, re recite today's part, we will um, recite what we learned in our previous class. That means we will recite it first. We will sing this song again. We will sing only the first six lines. Okay? Okay. Are you ready? Well then, I'm going to recite it and sing it and you will recite after me. When I'll stop, you'll start. Okay? Let's start. The Little Plant Written by Kate Louise Brown In the heart of a seed Buried deep, so deep A dear little plant Lay fast asleep Wake, said the sunshine Wake, said the sunshine And creep to the light Okay, so we will recite, we will not sing, sing today, we will recite today's part. I hope you recited with me very well. Here is today's part. The little plant, Kate Louise Brown. Okay, so what is it said? Wake, said the voice of the rain drops bright. The little plant heard and it rose to see what the wonderful outside world might be okay what is it written i, I will recite it again wake said the voice of r the raindrops bright the little plant heard and it rose to see what the wonderful outside world might be okay so you will now recite after me wake said the voice of the rain drops bright the little plant heard and it rose to see 
What the wonderful outside world might be. So what is it said? In first two lines, it said, we know that the sunshine called the uh, buried plant to come out. It was giving sunlight and it said that I'm giving you sunlight. Now you please come out from the ground. But it was not coming out because only sunlight is not enough for plant. A plant needs water too. So when it rains, we find water from raindrops. Okay. So it said that the raindrops after the sunlight, the raindrops call the little plant to come out from the ground. That means now it's getting the water too from the raindrops and in the uh, middle two line the little plant heard and it rose to see what does it mean after getting water and sunlight finally the little plant wakes up from its sleeping and it is proud that means it shows its little leaves above the ground that means now it is visible we can see it okay and what is said in the last two lines that what the world oh sorry what the wonderful outside world might be what does it mean it means now the little plant wakes up and looks around and it sees the wonderful world the world is really very beautiful amazing and wonderful to the little plant because this is the first time the little plant is seeing the world right before that it couldn't see the world because it was buried in the ground i hope you understood it well so we read or we recited uh, the last six lines of the poem the little plant right okay from these six lines we got two word meanings the first word meaning we have here is rise what does rise mean raise for example the sun rises in the morning right okay second word we have here is wonderful and what is the meaning of wonderful amazing this world is wonderful right good so from today's lecture that means from lecture two what did we learn today we learned that after the sunshine the raindrop also calls the little plant that means it also says that now please come out okay from the seed and so the little plant wakes from its sleep and it shows its green leaves above the ground. Okay. And finally, the little plant comes above the ground and this little plant sees the wonderful world. Okay. So now is practice time. I hope you understood the um, poem and what I said okay now is practice time so how do we practice we will read today's lecture part that means lecture two part from the lecture sheet okay there is one lecture sheet and from that lecture sheet there are two parts you will read lecture two then practice the exercise part from the lecture sheet of lecture two check your answer and then share what you learned today to your after session teachers okay thank you and hope to see you again bye